I'm Michael Shannon, and then, uh, I can put the two dollars in change up my nose. You should not do this. Well, you just shouldn't do this, but you, you really shouldn't do this. Some nickels. I'm about the dollar. And then uh, uh, cherry on the proverbial Sunday. I guess dimes aren't really that impressive. There's a lot of money up there. Oh, shit. All right, well, see how much I got in there. Oh, there went one in my brain. Oh, man. I'm going to have to get a tetanus shot after this. Hmm, a bird. Um, 25, 50, 75, a dollar. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, two dollars, two dollars and ten cents actually. You count it, it's all there. Okay, let me double check. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think I've proven myself to be a fairly talented individual by this point. Uh, what are you doing trolling the internet and the world about General Zod? Spreading your web of lies day after day. No, they're not. Flip Come on. here, Superman. They're not. <laughs> Come here. I got you now. Is that an exclusive? That's an actual scene from the film? Come here, Superman. Next time you do this, you should have like a ping pong table or something. Like a, an intimate game of ping pong with Al Pacino. And if you ask him a question that kind of upsets him, then their game falls apart. You get an advantage. Man, oh man, that is a fantastic mustache. <laughs> you might have to rename the show, like the Tonight Show, with that fantastic mustache. mustache. You want to touch it? Yeah, can I touch it? Yeah. <laughs> I've been wanting to do that for a long time. Yeah, a long time. time. How, uh, wow, that's a great one. That's a great, how long does it take you to uh, grow that mustache? A couple years. I love cutting off wings. You do? Yeah. Wings are my favorite part. Destroying hope. Do you mind if I just took Go ahead. I'm gonna skip that a lot. You want to try another one? Oh my gosh. There you go. I could do that all day. Do you want to hold up some photos of puppies and make sure. noises? Sure. No, that he, is he like that? Or is he more like, woof, woof? each other so much yeah i don't like golden retrievers i don't get it <laughs> oh my michael god michael shannon i'm interviewing you yeah wow this head's gonna fall off it's too big those ears are a little pink i hope they don't have ear mites that's, that's a big problem with dogs give me your most adorable face your go-to adorable face It does feel different. Yeah, the last time it was on uh, the internet. It was, on, it was in the Zoom box. It felt kind of creepy. Yeah, this feels totally not creepy at all. No, not at all. Yeah. This was meant to be. This was something I've been dreaming about for a long time. You're strange. You've played some intense characters over the years. Do you think people are scared of you? What's one thing that we might not know about? Like, are you home listening to Taylor Swift, dancing around? I know. What's something nobody would know about me? I'm not, well, I'm not scary. I mean, am I scary? No. Yeah. No. Um, I'm really kind of a, I'm kind of one of the more goofier human beings. Um, and I have a hard time taking things seriously. But I, I just barely managed to do it just enough to collect my paycheck and go home. 
It's kind of stressing me out because my mom's <laughs> in the other room watching at the monitor. Oh, really? And she she's really good cook. She's a really good cook. Oh, I man. think she'll be pleased. Yeah. We're trying to summarize for the audience that those that have not seen the Star Wars films thus far, everything that's happened so far in the Star Wars saga. Can you summarize it? When I was a kid, I liked Greedo. I wish that he would have his own spinoff. There would be like a Greedo movie. Are you, you'd like to play Greedo? Is what I would saying. play Greedo, yeah. Did he shoot first or did Han shoot first? Where do you come down on that? What do you mean? You're not really familiar with Greedo, dude. That's the whole, I just that's like the, his that's head. The that's the defining characteristic of Greedo. There's a famous scene where it's... Like the, a duel between him and Han Solo? You lost the part. You had the part for 10 seconds and then you just lost it. I was more of a look thing. I just like the way he looked. <laughs> Then here's what happens is the great Michael Shannon, the double uh, nominated actor, Oscar nominated actor, gets invited to the Golden Globe Awards. And you didn't, you didn't make it, you couldn't make it, <laughs> couldn't make it that night. I had night. something I had to get off my chest. You really did? Yeah. But what was it and who, because I, I, well, this is a picture of you that night. Yes. That night What's going on and what? <laughs> I'm praying to the, yeah. to the rock gods. No, I'm, I'm doing a very feeble uh, impersonation of Iggy Pop there. I think um, this song uh, was, uh, <laughs> man, I'm hot. Uh, it's, uh, I think this was uh, down on the street. I want to hear your most adorable voice, phrase, voice. Hello. Son of a Sometimes I'm rendered speechless at this job. Yeah. This is one of those times. That must be pretty scary for you, considering you're an interviewer. Yeah. I had to look. I had to look because I was excited. I had to look because I was excited. The magic was happening right in front of me. What was supposed to do? And at that point, you can cut it freely away from the body. I have the legs are off. Oh, the, what? On both sides? Yeah. Oh my! Really? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do my second side then. That was fast. I'm sorry. But you got the leg and the thigh of both sides off of that body. I, I wouldn't say that with absolute certainty, <laughs> but I'm holding a piece of chicken in my hand. Okay. Now, here's the real question. Is, is this a thong? Is that a thong strap hanging out of my pants <laughs> there? I can't remember. What kind of underwear do you wear? I don't know. Do you want to hold Bolt? Yeah. Oh, Bolt. Now I've had the time of my life, and I owe it all to you. Michael, good to see you, and thank you for coming uh, back to our program. My pleasure. Uh, you look like a stud, and thank you so much. I appreciate you. <laughs> always stylish, always think, uh, rocking something cool. I think a little, I'm a little hotter every time I come, right? <laughs> a, little, a little hotter every time I come to the show? Oh, Have people, you noticed that? Oh, people, I can feel it. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's like people are talking about it on the internet, you know, I can yeah. just, on Twitter, I was just checking. Everyone's talking about that, so it's just oh, wow. it's happening. You yeah. get that so quick. You get it well, it's yeah, real yeah. time, it's you know. That's actually we're... just a picture of a mountain. <laughs> Is it though? <laughs> oh man. You're a big hugger. Everybody knows you as a big hugger. Are you hugging people? The only person I hugged on a regular basis since COVID started was shooting was uh, Brad Pitt. I, I would hug him first thing when I got to work on bullet train when I saw him I would just run up and, and grab him yeah basically you would jump into his arms yeah. as I understand yeah. it yeah, yeah so then I want you to season this with salt and pepper big big pinches because it's a lot of cabbage right now I've been thinking a lot about Krypton and and how I have to protect it what would inspire you to, to retire so young and at the in the prime of your life I mean you have well for example last Saturday night uh, I was down in a little town called Garyville, Louisiana, uh, filming all night long in a swamp next to a Marathon petroleum refinery. And I was watching the fires explode out of the smokestacks and thinking, wow, that's so close to where I am right now. <laughs> and then, meanwhile, the mosquito trucks would drive around and ruin all our takes by making very loud noises as they expelled toxic clouds of mosquito repellent all over us. And I was covered in mud and sweat, and it yeah. was four in the morning. And I thought, if I never did this again, I would be all right. <laughs> I would be all right. <laughs> oh, that's kind of fun. That's the long, I didn't realize my tongue was that long. I'm proud. Yeah. Proud of myself. Yeah, okay. Oh, you remember when that was taken? No, who is it? That's 
hurtful. That was us. I have no memory of you that. Do you know you were? No. I have the tape. We've talked no. about it. Okay. I think there's one more. Oh, that's fun. Favorite side pole character has got to be Kramer. That's funny. He's saying you're kind of Kramerish. Uh, that, that I look like Kramer. Yeah. How long did this take? This segment? I don't get that time back. You know. No. Neither do I. Oh. What? You said that was the last one. I'm bad with you math. You know what the phrase "the last one" means? I haven't done one of these in a while in person. Okay. You know that. I'm so glad this is over. Thank you. Well, there's one more. <laughs> do you have a platter? Well, yes, I do, Michael. Do you like a crumpet? No, I don't like crumpets, you old fool. Do you like marshmallow pops? You go, you go to town on that, man. So, bring your chicken close to you. Hold bring your chicken. Bring your chicken close to you. <laughs> What? <laughs> My favorite wine. Ah! <laughs> My favorite wine of all time. Release the World Engine. Classic wine. I say that every morning <laughs> when I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Release the World Engine. <laughs> and uh, Knives Out. Man, they're making a sequel. I don't get to be in it. That's really happy place to end this, I think. I'd like to thank you, Mike. How unfair life is? Yeah, I think that really sums up our relationship generally. What's my score? Six. Isn't it great to, look at, look, we're in the same shot. Look, Mike, I can touch you. Did I overstep my bounds? No, that's all right. You okay? Did I hurt you? Yeah. Where do you see yourself in 20 years? Um, I don't know. I've been doing this for 20 years now, and this is where I am right now. The thing with butchering is like, if you feel like you have to force it, you're in the wrong spot. That's the thing with everything. Right? Yeah. I agree. Do you know that there's like a, a list, um, the headline is basically 15 reasons why Michael Shannon is the coolest effing person around. 15. True or false? All right. At 38, he's a super prolific. True. He can sing Bon Jovi better than Bon Jovi himself. False. He's the sorority sister you never knew you wanted. False. Mm -hmm. He makes the world's scariest villain. I know for a fact there are some people that are not scary. Because um, I've been mugged. Deep down, you're a lovable goof. Goof. Lo lo lovable goof. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> deep down, you're a lovable goof. What? You're going to make me do it again, aren't yeah. you? Mmm. I do all right? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. So juicy. Good. Perfectly cooked. Would your mom like to come to the mm. Hey, Mom. <laughs> do you want to come in here? This is your chance to be on TV. <laughs> or the internet. She's a good to know. Yeah, oh, she's... Oh, that's a no. Uh, yeah, she's... Uh, and after the cameras are off, she can take Yeah, yeah. Oh, will you come back sometime? Maybe do an omelet? Yeah, that'd be great. Awesome. Maybe we should go to the like the real spicy zone. Yeah. Maybe we should get into some ghost peppers. Yes. Stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a deal. It's a date. I've never seen a ghost pepper. Have you? No, it's you know that's their you thing. You can't see them. <laughs> yeah. They're invisible. Do you, Do you want me to give you a hug? To give you a hug? <laughs> On camera? Yeah. Let's give you a hug. Let's hug it. Let's hug. I'm gonna hug you, Michael Shan. Let me give him a hug. See, he's he's such a good sport about this. He loves this right now. <laughs> He's not, he's not letting me go. This is when he becomes scary. <laughs> <laughs>